Hello folks, welcome back to the channel. My name is Joel Duggan and we are hanging out here on the Friday Lego Let's Chat working on the West Hill Main Gate mock set that was designed and sent in by Grandpa Crafter who is in the chat right now. Hello Grandpa Crafter, hope you're well. We are going to be doing a couple of things today. We have the parts pick list 11.1, .1. we might be able to do the second part as well, depending on the time. We're also going to pop over and play some Satisfactory after. So we will have a full stream afternoon, which should be good. And one little note, uh, my building is testing the fire alarm. So if you hear an alarm in the background, do not be alarmed. It is, it is a known thing. Uh, it's happened a couple times already. It's been quiet for 20 minutes, so they might be done. We'll see. Uh, they also might need to pop into the apartment and check the um, fire alarm within my apartment. So uh, at that point, I'll just mute the stream and, and it shouldn't take too long. Last time they did it last year, it took like three minutes. Um, but in case there is any audio interruptions, that is what's going on. They waited for you to stream <laughs> to do the last bits um uh, mind trip media speaking of bits thanks very much for the 100 bits a couple of minutes ago on the starting soon screen really appreciate that and it is september if you did not catch the news yesterday on stream we now have 25 uh, percent off of one month and three month subs as well as 30 percent off of six month subs there is now a link with the command in chat if you do bang September. Then you'll get a link to the Twitch post that explains everything that's happening over the month through October 1st. There are a couple of weeks with different promotions. There are some bonus bits happening in the middle of the month and bonus subscriptions happening at the end of the month. But the main thing is that uh, subscriptions are 25% off for the month of September. And that is how you can join the Discord. You can um, connect your Discord and your Twitch accounts and join the Joel Duggan Discord if you have a tier one sub. You can also do it on patreon.com slash Joel Duggan if you would prefer to do it that way. It is more affordable for you. I know that people are trying to be budget conscious these days. So we are going to grab these, these pieces here. Starting with the black ones. And it is actually ch a little chilly today in my neck of the woods. It was surprising. I actually had to put um, long pants on. I normally hang out in the in the studio in shorts and a t-shirt, and I had to put sweatpants on today. It's a little cool. Looks like we got some light gray L's as well. Those are in here. That looks like bluish gray to me. Yeah. Tricky. That's those two. We do need one of those. That's done. Dark bluish gray, one of those. I wonder if those other black pieces are in here. Doesn't look like it. Oh, there's one. Do 
We need those big bricks? We do. Are those the bluish gray ones? They are. Blast Jordan, sweet Sandy, hello. Hope things are well, Blast. One, two, three, four, five, six. Fourteen of those. Thought I had an empty bag here a second ago. Oh, okay. Maybe not. Scotsman UK resubbing at tier one. 18 months. And Jody Illyria resubbing prime. 38 months. Hi, Joel and chat from Jody. Finally able to make a Lego day. Yay. And, uh, Core, 18 months already, says Scotsman. Yes, that's amazing. Thanks very much to both of you. And that means that there is a hype train really close. If there is a 100 bits or a tier one sub in the next four minutes, then you'll get a new emote from Twitch. I say new, it'll be new to you. I'm not sure how new they are in the year. How's the audio today, by the way? Good? Any complaints? I honestly don't know where these other pieces are supposed to be. Are they in here, I wonder? One of these, I think I should just, just go through all of these. We are going to need that. We need 10 of these. Two of the dark gray. Scotsman with 150 bits to get the hype train going. Thanks very much, Scotsman. Must have a bag somewhere that I'm not seeing. I'm very happy to not have my air conditioner on, though, I can tell you that. Audio sounds good. Thank you, Blast. Oh, you miscalculated and you did not get the hype train going. So there's only a minute left for the hype train. Oh, no. Oh, there's the black pieces. Sweet Sandy with 200 bits sweeping in at the last minute to save the day. That absolutely 
got us to 67% of the way through the level one hype tree. Super fast jumping in with another 200 bits. Thank you so much, super fast. I've got a funny feeling these flower pieces are meant to go with the green piece, so I'm going to put those together. So we did the 14 of those. I did not do the 11. That's two, four, six, eight, and 11. Imagine that. That's all the bluish gray. We've got all the regular gray. And we are missing some pieces on the dark gray. So there's that. Two, I need one. Hmm. Oh, there it is there. Okay. Six of those, one of those. So I just need the one two by one plate. Where on earth? I don't think it's in here. No, it does not look like it. I've not peeked at that yet. I've been saving that. Well, that's going to be a pain. Rado Za with 100 bits. Anonymous Gifter gave Violet Cloud 80 a tier one sub. That's amazing. Thanks so much. Violet, connect your Discord and your Twitch and join us in the Joel Duggan Discord. Uh, that now is a level two hype train with four minutes, 30 seconds left on it. Thanks so much. Um, yeah, I am unable to find that. I could also look in my other Lego to see if I've got one similar. I don't think I ever picked up a piece. Well, the good news is I've got two one by ones and that will that will replace it if we can't find it. Pays to stay organized. Ch chances are it's just like a space spacer piece anyway. So, got all those, got all those, got all those. So it's onto the brown.
Found the Spawn Chunks podcast recently. I've been thoroughly enjoying it. Finally had a chance to pop into stream, so I figured I'd check it out. Uh, Rado, thanks very much. That's awesome. I'm glad you like the Spawn Chunks. That's, that's my main gig. That's the main thing I do. Uh, and I do obviously stream Minecraft, um, but today is Lego and Satisfactory. Although this is a Minecraft build. Uh, this is the main gate to West Hill that Grandpa Crafter designed. You've probably heard me talk about it on the Spawn Chunks then. And this is all regular brown, not the red brown. And it's mostly flat pieces, it looks like. Love some Legos as well. Custom West Hill is pretty awesome. Thanks. Yeah, uh, Grandpa Crafter did a really good job. It might be fun uh, as a side project for me to try and redesign the top of it because he, he designed it when I made the original and then I went and changed it. Um, I might try to design my own bell tower to go on top of it. That would be kind of fun too. Two, four, six, eight, nine. for those. Did anybody watch the satisfactory video today? That is a level two hype train. Thanks ever so much. Really appreciate it, folks. If you got a sub or if you used a sub, make sure you connect your Discord and your Twitch. You can join us in the Joel Duggan Discord. Five of those. Those I'll do last. Need three, what is that? Two, four, six, eight, ten. Lots of empty bags now. We're getting close to the end, I think. I'm going to decide what I'm going to build next. I have not yet picked out or purchased a new set. Two times, two, four, six, eight. I know it glares off the instructions, but hard to avoid. 22 of these. Six, eight, ten, two, four, six, eight, ten, twenty two.
looks pretty straight to me. Let's clean off my desk here. Roughly how far along in the build are you? It looks great so far. We are, I want to say, hold on. We are here. Uh, we are building this right now. That's what this, we're, uh, we're doing the bottom here. That's what this phase is. Uh, and then we're doing, after we do this, it's, uh, we're up to here. So I'd say, Two thirds, maybe, maybe a little bit more. I've decided I'm only gonna, like I only do about, uh, with this particular set, I'm only doing about 90 minutes per week. Um, it takes longer because you have to do like the, the picking and sorting and stuff. Whereas Lego, you just kind of dump the bag out and start with their instructions. So it's not, it's a little slower working on this than it is a regular Lego kit. That's fine. Get to extend the fun. Um uh, no, uh, MOC is an acronym for my own creation. So Grandpa Crafter went into some Lego software. Uh Grandpa Crafter, if you're in chat, maybe you can let them know what software you did use. Uh and then used um the software to export a block list and then bought the Lego bricks on secondhand sites. So the instructions were designed and laid out by Grandpa Crafter. And my own creation or mock is a pretty common acronym in the Lego community where you'll have people that will be designing like their own Star Wars ships or their own landscapes, castles, that kind of stuff. Uh, if you go to uh, legoideas.com or ideas.lego.com, I can't remember which it is, you'll see a lot of mocks there. Uh, and sometimes Lego Ideas mocks get selected to become an official Lego set. Several of the sets that we have actually started off as, as Lego ideas.
It's always hard to get the little pieces straight. Sweet Sandy, thank you for being awesome. <clears throat> Auto oh, the uh, the program auto generates the instructions, but they were a little bit basic. Yeah, that makes sense. It sounds like the program is is meant to help like someone that has designed something digitally build it physically, not necessarily that you're going to be then sending that to someone else. I, I think the software is probably assuming that you're going to be very familiar with with the build. That would be my guess anyway. I've got to get myself some more emotes. I think if we made our own band hammer. Makes sense. This is not going to work out with 22. There's going to be a couple left over. Oh, well, it worked out okay. But, uh, you can probably retexture one. Oh, or a band hammer? Yeah. I just got the skills to make my own. I just need to find the time. Oh. There is more going on. I missed this pet. 11.2. 11.2. 
11.1. I think I will probably need that. Um, these would be easy to find. 2, 4, 6, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Yep. And four. Two, four, six, eight, ten. Two, four, six, eight. Those are too small. Betting what we need is in here. Two, four, six, eight. And then these. If I do it this way, I'll have more space to build down here. Now I think we're ready. Have you done any steampunkish builds? If so, what are your favorite blocks for it obviously copper would be big in it i'm thinking about building my machines and small farms and stuff under my main base that's making it kind of steampunky uh, i've been using uh, acacia and copper on the iron farm you can check out those vods uh on joel duggan vods thanks for the link sandy uh what else is really steampunky prismarine um Getting some color into your steampunk is, is pretty good too. Like if you're doing like zeppelins or air, um, I think glass can be kind of steampunky. Um, hiding campfires and letting the smoke billow around kind of like steam, I think is a good idea too.
tricky little connection. Not sure what's going on today, but my air filter here in the apartment has just been going absolutely haywire. I'm not noticing anything. I don't smell anything in the air, but I mean, that's probably because the air filter is doing its job. I will tighten all this up once we get it all connected. No, I don't think they're using any gas to test the smoke alarms, as far as I know. Um, there was somebody doing construction in the apartment next door, and the water was off yesterday, so somebody could be doing like plumbing stuff, and sometimes that stuff has like a smell, but I've not noticed anything. And normally I'll pick up on something like that. Steampunk is definitely a new style. Do you watch Tango Tech at all? Tango Tech on Hermitcraft is doing some steampunky stuff right now. I will connect these two. far so good haven't gotten into watching much Minecraft until now, other than the occasional Redstone guide. I'll check out those as well. Oh, for sure. Uh, who else? Um, you're right, super fast. Pix did a survival guide project that was going to be steampunk inspired as well. Um, 
Yeah, the next one. The thing that the thing that Pix is working on is going to be steampunk inspired, I think. Uh, what have I seen steampunky? I feel like I've seen it before from somebody. Um, mythical sausage and Fwip. Um, check those builds out. They're doing a fantasy server right now, so it may be steampunky. It may be more fantasy, but I don't know. I know that um, Mythical Sausage has absolutely done a steampunk build in the past. I just don't know when. Did I not grab enough of those? Oh, that's wrong. Now we connect it all. Now I always find it hard to figure out where these go. Look for the black lines. So it goes in the middle. But I have no idea. Looks like it's even. So we've got two there. And then Assuming it goes like that. Looks like it overhangs by two. So I guess we'll do this first. And then these two, and these three. Hearing that on the podcast might have been where you got your inspiration. Oh, very cool. We're always happy when we can inspire people with the spawn chunks. It's a, it's a cool thing to have happen. So it looks like the long one is along the bottom. That gets connected like that. You can sort of see where the door is going to be. These plates are a little bent. So it's not sitting straight. Line up the floor.
And then we've got to spin it around. Oh, I'm going to need more than those. Where do they go? That doesn't make any sense. I also missed some pieces too. So I'm going to need two more of those. Where does this go? All right, let's see if we can find them. Yeah, they go under the door, but I can only see the edge of one of three pieces, so I don't know what they do. I've got more of these things than I know what to do with. Thankfully, these gray pieces are very similar to a lot of the stuff we get with um, Star Wars ships. And they often will give you some spare, spare bits. It's not usually a two by one though. So my guess is that it's supposed to be a single plate with a double thing on the back. Right, it'll just be extra detail that no one will ever see. Yeah. Yeah, that lines up with the the width of the or the depth of these blocks, so that, that makes sense. I must have missed that in the pick list. Ten regular blocks. Take care, Blast Jordan. Good to see you.
like that. So in little details. These go on the corners. I like the idea of um, solar punk as well as steampunk. Solar punk in Minecraft would be really fun because Minecraft gives you so many cool green options to mess around with, especially now with moss and glow berries and stuff. You can almost create an imaginary landscape in Minecraft where glow berries are like some sort of energy source. Is that what Pearl's doing this year, Dan, on or this season on Hermitcraft is is solar punk? Yeah, green energy, sort solar power, wind, that kind of stuff. Um, and also, like if you think about like any kind of like modern looking technology in like a Studio Ghibli film, that they're kind of very solar punky. There's a lot of solar punk um, background videos too. Um, why am I short? Did I not count out 22 of these? Maybe I only counted out 20. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. Yeah. I did not count out enough. Oh, that's the wrong way. I'm 
I'm just going to leave these off for now. It's a nice solution to the corner. I think this is one of my favorite Minecraft tracks. I can't quite see it from here. Cool. That is the base of the guard cottage. 200. Yeah. So what I'm going to do is we'll do the next stage of this next time. That will be the part with the inside and the flowers and stuff. So right now we have done the, the bottom part right up to the, the trim on the second level is where we are with that. Very cool, Grandpa Crafter. Very, very cool. Um, we are going to continue to stream this afternoon. However, uh, we are going to switch to Satisfactory. Uh, I feel like starting a new pick list and a new bag would take me a little bit too far. So um, the VOD will end. Uh, the stream will end briefly, but then I'll start up with Satisfactory immediately after that. I'm going to take a short break, get myself a, a snack and a glass of water. And when we come back, we will be popping into my Devastator save on Satisfactory and continuing with the re-familiarizing ourselves with the plans and cleaning up a little bit getting ready for 1.0 to drop. Uh, we're not building a lot of stuff because uh, there's new build parts and there's new recipes, uh, but there's a, a bunch of stuff that I think just needs to get deleted and moved around in the world and just reorganized so I'm not quite all over the place. And um, we're going to take care of that, or at least continue to take care of that on stream t today. So that'll be fun. If you're new to Satisfactory, I think you will enjoy it, especially if you're a Minecraft player. It's very similar, uh, similar to, to Redstone in that game word notify hello welcome in high tech dwarves that's a good idea rito good a uh, good idea if you're watching this later on twitch you can of course see the whole playlist uh on the vods on uh sorry on uh, not on twitch on youtube then uh joel duggan vods on youtube is where you can watch all of my lego vods all of my minecraft vods satisfactory vods i keep them organized into playlists each Lego set has its own playlist. There's also a playlist for the Lego that we've done in 2024. Then we have the 2024 Citadel and the 2024 Satisfactory playlist, which has just started. So you'll be able to catch up pretty quick. Uh, once again, I host the Spawn Chunks podcast uh, with Pixel Riffs every Monday about Minecraft. And I do the Citadel Cafe at least once a month. Uh, we are going to be talking about Rings of Power this coming week, uh, not this weekend but next wednesday and pixel riffs is going to join me for that as well so that'll be a lot of fun i will see you folks momentarily if you're around for the afternoon as we continue with satisfactory but if not then i'll just catch you the next time i stream either way thank you ever so much for the hype train and the support the bits great to see the follows and uh i'll see you again in the next one